I'm using my fame and all my talent. Oh, we haven't. I don't think we've said any curse words yet. Okay, good. Aaron, have we said any curse words? That I mean, it's so casual, it's hard to tell. This is Aaron. Do you want a, a job to do during the podcast? I don't know if it'll interrupt your third your, job. I don't know if it'll interrupt interrupt your Sudoku's Stop. that you do. He doesn't do Sudoku. <laughs> Nobody does Sudoku anymore. Is it Sudoku or Sudoku? Sudoku. Nobody does that. Uh, anymore. Well, I was thinking because I was listening to the um, la the last episode for editorial purposes. And uh, the amount of swearing is really, I know we've talked about it before, but I think we have to rein it in. Yeah, it's a bad habit. Yeah. So, Aaron, can you keep, I don't know, do you have, oh. I ooh, could do it. I could keep it. I might it. have a, hold on. I think I, I don't know. Let me see if I threw it in my bag. What? That sound effect thing that Marley had. The red one? Yeah. Um, Aaron can play that every time we... Well, my the job that I'm present that I'm proposing to you, I fucking picked it up and didn't put it in my bag. Such a fucking retard. I suck. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Fuck. Fuck. Just take it easy. Just point it somewhere else. Okay. And get... How about this? How about this? No, you don't have to shoot it upside down at me. You know what happens if you shoot a gun upside I shoot down? shit upside down. It, what? It boomerangs and comes back. It brings you. people back to life. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my teeth look white. Yeah, my teeth are not white. I need to get them whitened. You know well, what I Aaron, did, Well, here's the job. You keep, know what I did? Keep track of our curse words and play some kind of a... Did you, you ever see, say something. Did you ever see the South Park episode where they, you could say shit on cable? This is... This counts... And they had a little ticker in the corner of the screen that counted oh. how many times they said it. And they said it like 150 times. Oh, so times we're ripping off South Park. Never mind, Aaron. No, because their goal was to say it as much as they could. We're trying to say it as, l as little curse words as possible. That's true. Uh, one time me and my friend Trey Galleon mm -hmm. uh, in Austin, another comedian, we did sets at, I think it was just like the open mic at the Velveeta Room. Mm -hmm. And we had a contest to see who could say fuck the most in you know like your three minute set yeah and it was just like every I really <laughs> like would. so fucking i was fucking uh driving okay my well now we're saying it a lot oh well that's that doesn't count because it's an example but you know what you're right so aaron uh i guess start counting maybe that's a better sound effect do you have a buzzer sound effect no you don't need a sound effect you can just chime in okay just say you know what? Go, bad word. I, that's what I was gonna say. If Marley were here, she'd be perfect for that. Yeah, job. Marley would be perfect for that job. <laughs> she used to think, "Dude, do we, we probably told this story already?" Yeah. But she used to think, "Dude" was a bad word. Yeah. And it kind of shed light on how often we use "dude," me especially, because every time I'd be talking to Brendan just casually, and all of a sudden I hear go, "Ah, bad word." Yeah. <laughs> like in the other room. She did bad it the word. other day. You said shit or something, and she's just sitting there watching TV, bad and she word. just goes, "Bad word." Bad oh, word. yeah, yeah, okay, Aaron, good. That's good. That yeah, was a test. Bad word. Uh, Is it picking boogers if you're just itching your nose? Yeah. But it's just itchy. Gitchy. It's itchy, gitchy, dude. I need to wash my hair. My bangs are all greasy. Yeah, I like a greasy bitch. Does that count? Bitch is a bad word. Bad word. Okay, so then I don't know if, is there a way for you to keep a tally and then we'll have to figure out a penalty. Whoever says it the least wins a prize. Well, I Let's mean, I, I feel like, but why don't we put money into a no, fund? Because we're poor. No. What, and put it in, you could put it in a shopping spree fund for me. So well, I we could, could or shop. we could give it to some loser ass kids. Nah. Ah! ASS. I don't think, is that, wait, okay, let's use, we're using TV. Okay, so S H Network TV. S H D I. Oh, I can't say. D yeah. It's well, I think, you know word. what? I mean, maybe if you call, you can call someone a dick. Yeah, but you, but you can't, can't refer be to like, Johnson. Yeah. yeah. His, or his rod, or his Johnson. I just watched that recently, the other day. I haven't seen ah. it in a while. You know what movie I'm referring to? Do you know Aaron? 
Austin Powers no. to the eh. Spider Shagman. Eh. No? Nope. Without a blink of an eye, the man will refer to his dick or his rod or his Johnson. Johnson? What's that from? Uh. The Big Lebowski. Wow. You guys suck. I was watching it. I know like every word of that movie. What about rude thing? Like saying that we suck? No, that's not a bad word. I mean, it's just ah, hateful bad speech. Word. It's hate speech. Look what um, I was thinking we could give this away to one lucky listener. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's a ticket to the UFC. <gasps> UFC 200. Whoa. Look on the back. Oh. Show them what's on the back. Well, that's so. It's a ticket from the UFC 200 that I attended in Las Vegas. All right, well, that just doesn't work. It doesn't self. And then on the back, it, it was their tribute to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So <laughs> it's the Ruth RBG UFC. That's who they were fighting for. Yeah, they were fighting for her. Uh, you know, if she had retired, I was just about memory. to call her something bad word. They were choking each other out in our, in Ruth Bader Ginsburg's memory. <laughs> if she would have retired, bef- like when Obama was in office, he could have nominated a new person. She now, up. is this, this is a good idea, maybe. Become a judge? Well, you have to be a lawyer first. <sighs> but, you know, I think I t- said this on the podcast. Somebody told me that in, in California, you just have to pass the bar. To yes, Kim a lawyer. Kardashian is going to become a lawyer because yeah. she studied to pass the bar. She's failed it a couple times. Oh, <laughs> did she pass it? No. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, that's kind of the point of law school, right? She, she could pass the bar. She could pass a bar through that giant ASS of hers. A whole barge. She could pass a barge through her ass. Does that so? Ask we can say. Uh, yeah, like her ass is so big, she could crap a barge out of it. Oh, okay. You know what a barge is? Oh, a, a big ship, like a type of ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now barge. Trash barge. Now maybe I'm high because I smoked a ton of pot in the parking lot. <laughs> but is barge a funny word? Barge, yeah. Yeah, so barge and Hellman were building towards something. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I here's an idea. Wait, cut to me real quick. Old people UFC. Okay. Or something. Oh, some kind. You know what? Like because UFC is very popular, and why not just get other people like other stuff that's like people who aren't necessarily in shape or fighters. Yeah, I don't know if people. Well, maybe I we could have, we could that. get our guest in on this because he has good ideas for TV shows. <laughs> Aaron, can you uh, try to video call our guest before I start popping off in here, and you regret you were ever born? Because guess what? I'm not going to shoot you in the head. I'm not going to shoot you in the heart. Shoot, shoot each hand, penis. each hand, oh. each foot, and I'm just going to shoot, I'm going to torture you with shooting. I don't shoot to kill, I shoot to maim. Hello? Hello? Hey. Do we have a What's video? Happening? Are you good now? Hold, yeah, we'll hold see. up, we're going to get your video up. You like it? <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, hey. the most requested guest to return to the World Record Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Present to you, Laser Wang. <laughs> hey, do you have any guns there, Laser Wang? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> The cowboy. <laughs> the Lone Ranger. <laughs> That's a nice gun you got there. Yeah. Orange tip. You gotta take if you wanna uh, if you wanna rob a bank or scare someone, you gotta take that orange tip off. Then they'll then have, they'll think it's real. I mean. I have real guns for that. <laughs> you know what? We should do one. We'll do another episode where you lay out all your guns on the ground or something. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Laser Wang? It's good. Good. Everything's good. Yeah. Um, were you just, did you work today? Yes, I did. I got out a little bit early. That's why I'm able to, you know, get on the podcast this early. Did you, um, is there, is that wall right there next to the door? Is that just blank that you, um, 
Move more in front of just the gray wall. Let me see. Right there? Yeah. Whatever, that's fine. We don't need to. I was just for the, the editors to put um, crazy backgrounds in there, but you know what? We don't need it. But it's a white door. Why Why can't they put it up well, there? Because of all the lines and shit. Oh, bad word. Ah, bad word. Because of because the hinges and all the <laughs> stuff, like it's just got to be pl like plain, like flat. You know what I mean? You can't use bad words. Flat, like your wife. Um, <laughs> well, we're no, trying. No, I, no I, <laughs> I, you can use all the bad words you want. We're okay. trying not to use as many bad words because the last podcast I edited, every other word out of my mouth was the f bomb. And the A train is not much better about it. And she says even grosser things. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry. A, a train, I was thinking about you today because I had a porno when I was a teenager <laughs> called Taking the A Train. Oh, no. <laughs> well, now, were I, you in that? No. I don't okay. think I was alive yet. When yeah, you were in high school. You, you would have been <laughs> negative 10. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, she... I think that's that's illegal. <laughs> yeah, you can't have negative people in there. <laughs> but now there's a whole new meaning to H. I mean, I, I'm Wait, is there figuring one called... out what A-Train is, what the A stands for. Take the A-Train? Is that what it was called? Taking the A-Train. Well, there's one called Take the A-Train. I just Googled a classic porn, Take the A-Train. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, remember that. Well. Let me see if there's any information about. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> does that sound like the right movie? Oh, that's it. That's definitely the one. The music is crazy. This is pretty crazy. We'll have to watch this later. No, that's okay. <laughs> well, we'll watch it watch together. It with, yeah, you can watch it with well, laser wang. No. Watch it on, over <laughs> Zoom. We can play with ourselves together over Zoom. <laughs> but then, but we won't see. We'll have to do it sneaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you won't see it, but you'll just know that the other person's doing it. Because <laughs> they won't. They'll be distracted. Yeah. You'll be like, did you hear what I just said? You're like, uh huh. <laughs> uh. That would be kind of fun. Maybe that would be fun. A good bonding experience. That's like a good. Oh wait, what for me and Laser Wang? Mm -hmm. There's probably like a Japanese game show that already does that. <laughs> I, I I did that once. It, it sounds it sounds really uh, messed up, but I actually did that once. What do you mean? Like jerked off right next to another dude. <laughs> <laughs> Where was he doing it too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, we weren't we were right next to each other. We kind of it was a big long couch, and we were on opposite ends of the couch. And what were you doing? Watching a porno movie? Yeah, yeah. Who? How old were you? I, I don't know. I was like twenty-seven. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I think I was. I want to say eighteen, maybe. Oh man, so that's even that. Wow, that's pretty. That's kind of late. That's kind of old like that. to do that. Yeah. Thirteen, maybe. We, I think we were. There was nothing to do. There were no girls around. And I was hanging out in this dude's basement, and he had all this porno. Oh, and was it I, Paul? I, I don't remember whose idea it was. Was it Paul? No, it wasn't. Mark? No, it wasn't Mark. Either. Ray Bob? <laughs> Rhino? <He's> Rhino. <laughs> He's Rhino. He punched, me, he punched me in the face when I was done. <laughs> <laughs> there were these guys. Did we talk about that before? There were these guys, Ray Bob and Rhino. Oh, God. I think we did oh. talk about this. Oh, I've never heard it. I think we talked about this personally. We didn't talk about this on, on the podcast. Really? Ray Bob yeah. and Rhino were like, I feel like we did talk about it because that's kind of, I stopped, kind, I stopped coming around and like hanging out with you for a while, at least in your neighborhood, yeah. because yeah. those guys were just so unpredictable and violent yeah. that... Yeah. I was like, they're just going to kick my ass one day and nobody's going to stop. Like, everyone will enjoy were watching they it. Were they brothers? No. They were just no, friends? No, they were just friends. How old were you? 16? Teenagers. Yeah, yeah. God, I don't know what it is. With, I mean, so much fighting when you were Well, but John's teenager. neighborhood had crazy, like, you know, every, like, all your friends mugged people. What? Yeah, they did. Yeah, but like, why? they were all, because they were just like, you know how there's like bad neighborhoods where crime is rampant? <laughs> like, That's these dominant. are the guys that are responsible for the rampant crime where you're like, you Listen. can't walk from the Olney bus stop 
to your house without getting your s- sneakers or chains stolen. So what would they do? Like push you over and then steal they'd your beat, shit? They'd punch you. Ray Bob was like a, a boxer. Right? Wasn't that yeah. the thing? Yeah. Well, at one point he was. But yeah. even before that, he liked to practice. He called it like a, a death punch. And he would practice in his garage and, you know, just try to just throw the hardest punch he could possibly do. And he, then he would practice on people. Yeah. And then the other guy, <laughs> Rhino, was just this big. Like these also, because th- were they our age or were they maybe like a year older? Maybe a year older. But they were like grown men like big guys like had muscles and mustaches and shit oh <laughs> bad word and stuff yeah and stuff, and stuff. <laughs> um I, I watch i was telling a story at work the other day i watched rhino i was in a uh, an upstairs bedroom at a party and people were like doing drugs and stuff and this one guy insulted rhino but he was a friend so he didn't think it was a big deal and rhino just kind of gave him this weird look and said, why the fuck did you say that? And uh, and he started to go after the guy, and the guy got so scared, he ran, and by the time we made it to the door of the bedroom, the dude was landing at the bottom. He jumped from a whole flight of steps. <laughs> oh, no, no, Rido punched him first, punched him in the back of the head, and his head bounced off the door as he was running out the room. Oh, oh my and, God. Uh, and then he jumped off of the steps, and... I mean, it was a full flight of steps. Like jumped down 13 land- stairs. Yeah, and he landed at the bottom, and he was just gone. Yeah. He would have rather j- jumped off of... Yeah, that's manageable. Than, than to get beat up by Rhino. Was Rhino his yes. name? Like, that's just what everybody called him, or he called himself that? No, that was just his nickname. God. That wasn't his real name. Was that based on, like, his real name? Was his last name, like, Rhinoceros? Rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, I don't remember. Or, yeah. He sounds like a Ryan, rhino. Ryan or something. Oh. Well, now, what um, are those? Do you know anything about what those guys are up to now? Um, uh, I have some information. I really don't want to talk about it. Oh. Uh-oh. Why? I mean, not, nothing crazy, but um, Rhino, I, I have no idea where he is. Right. But I know some stuff about Ray Bob. He was... Uh, I don't know. Good stuff, bad stuff, a lot oh. of stuff. Hmm. Well, we'll talk. Well, I mean, definitely there's got to be some prison time in there. <laughs> no, there, there wasn't. Oh, really? So he just turned yeah. into a normal guy? Um, kind of, yeah. <laughs> well, this is just so mysterious now. <laughs> I know. Now I have to know about Ray Bob. <laughs> yeah, I, there, there's too much stuff. I, I can't put that out there. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I mean, it's pretty anonymous, but whatever. Yeah, maybe. You, I don't guys, know. you tell them later, because I want to know. Yeah. What are you drinking? Yeah. Uh, gin with a little bit of cranberry and some seltzer. Nice. Nice. He's done work. Uh-huh. He works from like, what, 5 a.m. till 2 p.m. or something? I was going to say it's 3 I started 6. About 3.40 6, over there. 6 to 2. <laughs> 6 to 2. Oh, that's God. not bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you don't work from home. You have to go. You, you <laughs> yeah, do like a physical job. From home. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, what is it? What, what is it I, that you do? What's it called? There's a special thing I, name. I beat I beat things with a hammer at home. <laughs> and I, just, and I, and I, I turn on uh, uh, what is it? Zoom. <laughs> yeah, you're on Zoom, and I tell my boss to watch me beat things with a hammer. <laughs> that's a that's a great idea. Uh, it is. What um, what happened at work today? Anything interesting or lately? I mean, I haven't talked to you in a while. You always have some pretty good work stories about uh, making people uh, just messing with people at work. No, not really. It's kind of laid back. I, I'm I'm in a, a pharmaceutical and we're just working like you know a bunch of little jobs and nothing nothing crazy. And what is it? You have to, um, you have to kind of behave yourself when you're in these places because they, they like to throw people out. Oh, because there are, there are employees there. Yeah, there's oh. it's a whole like plant. It's a whole like campus there. Oh, so you have to right. You guys are the construction guys walking around, so you have to be on your best behavior, or else someone will be right. like that construction guy like pulled his wiener out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, there there is one thing. This is this is a good story. There we have an apprentice, and uh, he's a pretty big dude, and apparently someone saw uh, a video he showed them on night shift, and he has a giant cock. From, from what the guy told me. <laughs> okay. And, uh, so, and then I see this, this hot woman that works in the building. 
and a little bit older, like older than a little bit older than me, but like amazing body, very pretty. Turns out it's his stepmom. The guy with the big penis. The, yeah, his mom, his stepmom works for Merck, and his dad works for Merck, and and I'm like, dude, you, everything about your life is like the, like every porno clip that you watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like you have a giant cock, you have a really hot stepmom, and I was like, dude, tell me, like, do you like yep. see her at pool parties and like like what's the deal? And he's like, oh come on, I've known her since I was a kid, and I'm like, come on, tell me some stories. But uh, he won't. He won't tell me anything. Ah. <laughs> Does he have like tattoos, like uh, big sleeve tattoos and stuff? <laughs> I don't think he does. No. Because that's oh, don't all porno guys. Everybody in porno has tattoos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm not a fan. You know what? I my least favorite kind of tattoo. And whatever, do what? whatever you want. It's not a deal breaker if the girl's smoking hot. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But those like just like random tattoos on girls like thighs. Yeah, yeah leg like tattoos I don't really get. Yeah, I don't get that because w- women have really, like, don't guys like women's legs? Like, yeah. isn't that like yeah, a I thing? Don't, I don't like those tattoos. Yeah, just like yeah. a tattoo of Frida Kahlo on your shin is like. <laughs> there was a girl I saw. <laughs> that like. I saw this girl at the beach who, um, ha- what, like, her and her husband, and she had, like, a bunch of little boys. They all were, like, totally tatted up, but she had, like, literally on her chest. I'm assuming it was her kids, the faces of her kids on her chest. One, uh, two, three faces. Yeah. I'm like, I hate, I hate what? That. I mean, her whole body was covered in it, but it's like, you're just going to have full on faces on your chest. It's so weird. It's such a weird place to put them. I, and I then think. if the father of the children is doing her missionary style, he's got a picture of his baby staring up at yeah, him. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know. It's like, those are my kids. He's like, oh, that's, oh, I guess he's about, uh, oh, I guess he's like, uh, oh, shit. Maybe, I, gotta, I, gotta, I guess he's like two years old. Honey, how old is Joshua in that tattoo <laughs> picture you have? <laughs> He's I like, looks like he's like weird. two. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna shoot my load all over our kids' faces. Yeah, isn't that weird? <laughs> so weird. If you're drunk, if you're drunk, you'll hear voices coming from the tattoo faces. Oh <laughs> like, like, Donnie, why are you doing, Donnie? <laughs> why are you doing this to mommy? That's the voice that all those kids have. See, that's a good <laughs> idea. Why are you We can make. Maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could make an animated short of that. We'll get Donnie. Laser Wang to do the uh, voices. You do really funny voices, Laser Wang. Oh, Didn't you, you tell... Did Laser you... Wang's kind of like... He reminds me of Beetlejuice a little bit. <laughs> Beetlejuice, yeah, like I from Howard Stern? Yeah. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> well, there was, Who, me? <laughs> I feel like you told this story once about like a wig. Maybe this is too much or like... I mean, he's got a hundred wigs. You were like wearing a... Oh... Like you knew the boss, and uh, I don't know. You probably told it on the podcast. <laughs> no, no. Before. Well, he flips houses too. And didn't you? Did you? Like you were well, messing this rings with. A bell. You I were think messing you, with oh, someone, yes. and then that person told the boss like, "This guy is so weird" or whatever. But like you knew the right. boss guy. I don't know. It was right. something where you were like kind of like did, fucking with someone. Ah, uh, uh, you're messing with someone, but Ooh. but then Aaron, it was like I don't know. Could be on top of this. Keep track. I was I was refinancing my own home. Okay. And when the, the guy comes to your house, they, they do a closing at your house with all the paperwork. So a guy comes to, for you to sign everything. And I answered the door with, my, with this wig on. <laughs> and I, but, but I had it like tilted to the side, like almost like it was a, a giant toupee that was sliding off. <laughs> and, and, I, and I left the, and the sunglasses on too that I usually wear with this wig. And the guy... And I never broke character. I never smiled, nothing. And the guy did the entire closing like that. Just very uncomfortable looking at my hair <laughs> and looking back down at the table. And, <laughs> and then he left and I just said, oh, and here's what I did. I had to give him a check. So I went into my bedroom to get my checkbook. And when I came out, I took the wig off and I had nothing on. <laughs> and uh, wait, I'm getting another call. Oh, oh no. Decline. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. We have okay. the, so we back? I come yeah. out can with you do, nothing on. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. What were you saying? Well, I was going to say, can you do hold your camera the other way so we get the full screen? Like this? Like sideways. What's oh, that? shit. That, maybe no, it's better. Yeah, it's better, better. Yeah, it's better the other way. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, but keep ta- I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. So, so sorry, you, come out, you come out without 
You took your wig off. <laughs> so then I, I come out with no wig on and just to give him the final check. And I still never said anything to him. And he just like, okay, all right, yeah, thank you. And the dude was very professional, like never said anything weird or made a weird face. And then he leaves and right away he texted his boss. Wait, wait, what's wrong with my camera? Oh, I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> and he texted his boss. So his boss sent me the text message that he sent. And he said, <laughs> and it said, what is up with this guy? It's uh, a really bad hair game going on. <laughs> and then he comes out and he's totally bald. <laughs> And I don't know what's going on, but whatever. Not my problem or something like that. That's such a good prank. What are the other a really funny. bad hair game. Yeah, bad hair game. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a real genius. What, what did your boss tell or your friend tell him? Did he, how did he reply to that? Was he like... I, think, I don't think he told him. I think he told yeah. him later in the office, but he didn't tell him immediately. That's funny. Yeah, we should call. That story. Do you want to call? Let's call a sneaker place and see if they have the uh, UFC sneakers with the picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg on them. Okay. <laughs> and we could talk about Ray Bob and Rhino. I'll let you guys. Okay. Yeah, you guys. Did you guys prank you call a lot when you were young? When you were kids? I called, did we ever tell the story about the swimming pool? Oh my god! I never heard that, that story. That was amazing. Well, okay. Hold how can I help you? Hey, man, uh, this is a sneak. This the sneaker place, right? Yeah, it is. You guys have um, you have those UFC shoes from the UFC? Oh no, we don't carry uh, the UFC shoes. We carry running shoes. You so know what I'm talking running. about, though? Because you ha- no, I think it's a UFC running shoe. I have Laser Wang on the f- on the line too. You know the rapper Laser Wang? I'm his manager, Beeman. Oh no, I'm not familiar. Hold on, hey, uh, how you doing? Laser Wang. Hey. How are you? Hello. What's this, your name? Oh, my name's. This guy's a big you fan. Have... Laser Wang. This guy's a big fan. He said. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what's your favorite song? Oh, you know, I'm not familiar with uh, Laser Wang. I can, I can, I can do a little bit of one of my my jams right now if you like. Do a slow jam. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Or whatever. Do whatever okay. you want, Laser. Okay. It was a late night on the Sunset Boulevard. I was the smoothest player, cold, pimping hard, riding around in her Mercedes with Pebbles and Janet, two other beautiful ladies. When Janet stuck off, I took Pebbles to a hotel with two of her friends. I spent the night in a motel. Pebbles, that fox, produced by Babyface, no comment. I had her jacked up in doggy style, deep on the room floor, the bathroom in every style. Her friend was on point. She sucked a powerful, mean dick, but I had control. The rhythm X never came quick. The other girl, ooh, she drunk my sperm. Mm. I shot in the face, messed up a perm. So how you like that one? Oh, yeah, that was good. That was really good, That's man. That's tight. That's tight, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he has a gig coming up in town, and he needs Mm -hmm. – somebody told us, because they have these cool UFC sneakers, and somebody said that you have the UFC sneakers with uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, They honor Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I guess? Oh, man. Uh, We don't carry them, unfortunately. I'm not actually familiar with the shoe. Do you have any RBG shoes at all? No, no, none of those. Um, hold on. Let me get Hel- I'm going to get my assistant Hellman on the line because maybe I'm wrong. She's she usually makes these calls, but she just got back from lunch. Hold on. Hellman. Okay. Hi, this is Hellman. Hello. Hi. Um, we're calling because we need to get some of the UFC shoes with Ruth Bader Ginsburg on them for um, our client Laser Wang. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't carry those shoes here, mm. but let me look them up. Let me see where you might could get Yeah, them. it's really important that we have some sort of honor. Well, just Ruth so, Bader Ginsburg, yeah, I think, yeah, is yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Either you, if UFC shoes, if no UFC shoes, then something with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. RBG. RBG. Maybe it'll say, stay strong. It'll have the picture of her holding the weights or something. Stay strong. Mm-hmm. Did you hear one of, um, uh, have you heard of Laser Wing before? No, I'm not familiar. He should he he has really he's a really popular rap artist and he has really great um bars and raps and freestyles and stuff like that. Hey Laser Wing, why don't you do another try another rap uh do a rap for this guy? 
Maybe oh, he, maybe it'll he click. Doesn't have to. No, he doesn't have to. I, I heard Here you go. Listen, my man, you're nothing but a milliliter. I'm a kilo, second to none, making MCs run. Don't try to step to me, because I ain't the one. How about that? Ooh, Ooh man, that's that fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. You know it is. Yeah, I, I, I can't seem to find this shoe. I'm sorry about that. No, R, did, you look at, did you look up RBG? R as in Roy. B as in boy. G as in goy. Yeah. RPG, come around the way and try to see me. How about uh, that? I can't, I, I can't find anything. Uh, <laughs> well, hold on. While he looks, Laser Wang, do you want to do like a, can you do a fast rap? Um, hmm. Here I, here I am, Laser Wang. A terrorist here to bring trouble to phony MCs. I move on and season just conquer. Stomp another rabbit with ease. Because oh, I'm not snap. my apex. Another's all below. Nothing but a milliliter. I'm a kilo. Wow. Boom. That was good. Oh. Boom. Save it for the show tonight. We'll get these sneakers yeah. and then we'll um, go do sound So if check. you could just get put those sneakers on hold for us and we'll come down and pick them up. What size? We don't have them. We don't know. We don't carry the shoe and we can't get a hold of them. Okay, just, the Ruth, or just Ruth Bader Ginsburg's then. We don't need the UFC shoe. No, size twelve. We size twelve. Extra wide. Extra wide. We have nothing. We have nothing. I'm sorry. Laser wings got flat have... feet and wide feet. Yeah, They're laser flat and wide, kind of like a duck's. Uh, what do they call those? Uh, like duck flippers. Feet. Duck uh, feet. Yeah, we don't. Uh, we don't have any yeah, of the shoes. Did. Is there anything else I can help you guys out with? Um, what about? I'm did you? A little busy. I have to. We have to get going. Uh, who, are you busy there? Is there customers? Yeah, we we just have to wrap it up. Can right I now. okay? Can I talk to a customer or no, is okay? No, no, do you have Ray Bob or Rhinos? No. Ray we Bob's. Have, we have none of the shoes you've been asking for. Rhinos, you have. Everybody has Rhinos. No, no. We carry running. We carry running shoes from Brooks, Saucony, Asics. <laughs> none of the shoes you've been naming. We have. none of them. Hmm. Laser Wang, are you in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. You know. Things happen. Right, I gotta go. I, I gotta go. Have a great day. Hold on, guys. Laser Rag's gonna. Hey, all right, thank you. Bye bye. Do a diarrhea wrap. Oh! <laughs> Taking a shit. <laughs> you got some good <laughs> rhymes, dude. That was good. You know what? You kind of caught me off guard. I, I didn't have anything prepared. Yeah, well, I, wish I... I had a, a better slow jam. <laughs> That was it fine. Was good. Pebbles the, the last in the one, hotel. <laughs> you sang that whole. We. I remember the last one where we recorded. Uh, you did that. That was a big yeah, part of the was, podcast. That was secret fantasies for the, that yeah. we did before. Yeah. Oh that right, that's the one, that's one I can think of that was like a slow groove. You know? Where she's finger popping herself or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Terry was finger popping herself. Okay. Well, let's not. <laughs> that's wait. a good one. I get ready for that. <laughs> I'll keep that one in my mind. Wait, what's the, the swimming time. pool story? Oh right. So oh, I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. I love hearing your old. John stories. or Laser Wang worked at. Uh, he was a lifeguard in the summer, at. Uh, you know, at the in his neighborhood mm -hmm. at the at local a, at a city pool yeah at a city pool and i <laughs> had the number to i i don't know what was it like a clubhouse or whatever whatever just the rec it was the, center. the rec center yeah. phone number and they had an answering machine and i called like when i knew they were closed and left a long message about how john had like basically s attacked me sexually <laughs> and <laughs> was like holding i don't remember the details like i you had me pushed up against the fence or something and yeah he, he started out slow he's like i i wanted to complain about one of your lifeguards his name is james or john or something i don't remember but it, and then he went into this long thing he's like you know there was some mutual flirtation oh, that's right. <laughs> but then <laughs> but then he got too aggressive and he pushed me against the fence and Held me down. And <laughs> Kissing me. I mean, did you get fired? No, no. The funny thing is I come in in the morning <laughs> and I, I walk in and there's an, a big office where like the, the manager sat and every all the lifeguards are in this office. And I'm like, why is everyone in there? And they're laughing. <laughs> So I go in, and I didn't know Brendan did this, and they, and they're all sitting there listening to the voicemail over and over and over, and they're like, "What did you do?" 
but uh, of course they knew it was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, you too. One time. But did 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 you ever talk about the Olive Garden prank calls? What were those? I, w I used to work at the Olive oh, Garden. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you worked at the Olive Garden. <laughs> and Brendan would call <laughs> and say, excuse me. Um, he's like, I was in there tonight, and my plate came out, and it was just filled with dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean? Like, like the food didn't taste good? And he's like, no, no, actual pieces of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> And then they hung up on him, and then he calls back, and he just goes, Olive Garden food, tastes like shit, <laughs> smells like shit, sucks my balls. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually, then he calls and asks for me. So I get on the phone, and I'm like, yeah, what's going on? And he's like, dude, I'm, I'm prank calling the Olive Garden right now. It's so funny. So I laughed a little bit, and then I get off the phone, and my manager knew I had something to do. <laughs> so he goes into the office and hears my conversation with Brendan because he could listen in on every line. So um, he comes out of his office, and he's like, John, tell your friend to knock it off. <laughs> this, this guy was a real jerk off, too, with like a big mustache and everything. <laughs> And he's like, knock it off. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm trying to play it off. What are you talking about? It has nothing to do with me. And he's like, just knock it off. I know. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. He was listening. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, man. I forgot about Olive Garden. Yeah, that was like, what was that, in high school? No, I was, I think I started working there when I was early 20, like 21, okay. 21, 22. Yeah, I forgot all about that. That's oh so God, funny. That was funny. Yeah, crank calling. Crazy. There was a friend of mine, this guy Greg in Austin, who um, his work, he delivered sandwiches for this uh, <laughs> deli. And his work. You that could, just sounds funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, delivered, hey, I'm delivering sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, I mean, back before Uber Eats and stuff, people had delivery drivers. Right. And this place was like really busy. Like they had a crazy busy lunchtime in Austin. Like, because it was uh, whatever, you know, he that's where he made all his money, just delivering food around Austin for like two hours a day. And, uh, I saw, I don't know if I saw their menu or something, like he was driving me somewhere in his truck. And we used to, me and my friend Braden used to put stuff on the back of his truck. Like we bought these adhesive letters and we would write like chicken hawk, <laughs> I love young boys. Mm. And, uh, and then he'd, he, like we would just, we would write crazy stuff. Like all, all we were for, it probably only went on for a week or two where every time we, we would just go to his house or his work and put something on the tailgate of his white pickup truck. And then he would call us and be like, Man, I was driving around for f two fucking hours with uh, a <laughs> said chicken hawk on the back of my or honk if you love young boys. <laughs> um, but I found out like I guess he was driving me somewhere in his truck and he had a menu from the deli and uh, our cafe and and it said that you could fax your order in. Oh God! <laughs> so oh, no. I would draw these crazy pictures <laughs> and just get all this crazy stuff. And I don't know where I had access to a fax machine. I guess at the library or I don't know. But I would fax like tons of stuff there. And he and this is before cell phones too. So like he like called me or the next time I saw him, he's like, dude, you got to stop doing that. My boss is pissed. He's like, he's like, you, he's like, you faxed in a picture of the Lone Ranger. And it was like, it was like the Lone Ranger in Tonto, but it was like a black and white photo and it was mostly black. And he's like, you it used up all the ink in the, in the fax machine because the whole sheet was just black. And he's like, and we're trying to get orders. And, <laughs> what an ass! What what an a hole I am! I guess at the root of all of this stuff. You as just want to make laughing. your you want to make yourself laugh. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that, that's what. And it listen is. to these stories. I didn't do anything fun like that when I was younger. Oh man, um, you know Stan Hope Sto reminded me of us. I talked to Doug yesterday briefly, and he reminded me of this bit that I was doing at his house. Like I forget so much. Like I just do things like whatever, yeah. but I forget so many things that I do. 
And this bit, I'm like, oh my God, that was like the best bit. I found a Bluetooth uh, earpiece, you know? Oh, yeah. Like one of those like little, you know, those old, you know what I'm talking about, Laser Wang? Like, yeah. Before AirPods. Yeah, before like AirPods, just like a thing yeah. in your ear. And he was, I was at a party with Doug and I was just like, watch, wa watch what I'm doing. And I kept, I would make believe I was on my Bluetooth here and there. I'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to go. I'm at a party. And then, uh, and then I'd go over and start talking to somebody. I'd be like, you know, they'd be like, hey, how's it going? I'd be like, oh, it's going okay. What have you been up to? Oh, I'm doing, um, or I don't know. I'd, I don't know. I'd, I'd get in a conversation with someone and be like, yeah, you know, the weather was really nice yesterday. And they're like, yeah, it was pretty nice. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about, you know, going on vacation soon. And, they, and then when they're talking to me, I'd put my finger on my ear of the, of the Bluetooth and go, hold on, I'm sorry. Some fucking asshole keeps talking to me. <laughs> yeah, what, I'm on the phone. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I did, I remember like when Doug reminded me, I'm like, oh my God, that's like, I was all about that the yeah. whole night. And like just Doug right. and a couple other people were watching me just dying. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Such a good bit. And I'm like, how did I forget about that? I lost the Bluetooth. That's probably how I forgot well, about also, it. Well, also, Bluetooth's obsolete now. You can't, you can't really do that anymore. Yeah. You don't really use Bluetooth. I mean, they use uh, AirPods. But yeah, they used to have this yeah. thing that the would big, like, stick out. Thing. But yeah. you could still use yeah. that. You could still put one of those in your ear and people wouldn't. People would get what you're doing, yeah. But also, they would just think I, you're like I a guy still using one. Yeah. Yeah. Should we move to uh, Philly, Laser Wang? Should we move to Philly or should we move to Austin? Hmm. What do you mean by Philly? Do you mean actual Philly? Nah, suburbs. suburbs. Yeah, see, I want a house. I don't yeah, want we want to have, we want like a, a nice house. Like a house with, with a yard. yard. Move where I, where I live. It is amazing. It's about 40 minutes outside of Philly and um, prices aren't bad. Well, like what's a, how much is a house? Uh, well, it, I mean, right now things are elevated, but yeah. When it crashes, it'll crash probably yeah. in a couple months. Yeah. Uh, Under four hundred, is there anything? You get something decent for for three hundred. Oh. Maybe that's yeah. The we move. want like a three bedroom. Yeah. House. Well, we can have this conversation off the air. Sorry about. Well, you guys are, are totally out of the loop because you're used to California prices, and that's totally ridiculous it's insane but you know what it's also any other cool place you would want to live like seattle portland austin all those house prices are like a million dollars and you know what i mean like any Everything place where like the weather expensive. any place that doesn't have brutal winters and awful summers that's what keeps me that's i mean i would move back to philly to have the kids closer to my family but i the, i just the weather fucking up oh, the weather it doesn't sucks suck. so bad. But you, how long have you lived there, Laser When You've lived there your whole life. Yeah. My you whole just kind of get used to it now. Yeah. Well, he's a loser. Not oh, really. Yeah, that's it true. sucks. No, it does suck. No, the, the cold weather is so bad. As I get older, it, it, it hurts. I wake up in the morning and I, I lay on the floor and I cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I you know, you know like how in movies, like you see after someone gets raped, they... They sit up against the wall in the shower and they just cry on the floor. Mm -hmm. That's the way I feel in the morning when I get up for work. Oh God. There's That's a, nice. I, I mean, this isn't a very <laughs> PC uh, acceptable joke, but Ian Edwards, very funny comic, has uh, the funniest joke uh, about that. He said that in, in movies, you know, like when somebody gets raped, they always show the, you know, the woman in the shower after the rape. Right. He's like, why don't they ever show the rapist in the shower? Just like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. like he's all happy just taking a shower. <laughs> that's funny. That's, uh, a good joke. that's hard. That is so horrible. We have it to is. talk about because you had a really good idea for a TV show <clears throat> on uh, on on the podcast, the one about having sex with your dad. Yes. God, was that, was that the last time? When was that? Like a year ago? Probably. That was a long time ago. That was a while yeah. ago, and then we recorded another one that I that I have um, that I haven't put out yet because there it was when you were on, when you weren't around, and I was just kind of recording a bunch of stuff. Um, so we have a bonus laser wang episode to follow this one too for all the laser wang heads. Everybody, um, you're the most every everybody always asks about laser wang. Uh, like, everybody loves you. Yeah, everybody loves laser wang. And wants laser wang on. Yeah. hilarious that's good you're the that's most good. most nice. requested uh 
It would be fun to live close to Laser Wing. No, yeah. we would never see each other. None of us. Why would. not? Because he's got kids. We have kids. He works from six a.m. until two. Yeah. So. He doesn't even yeah, have a. So he doesn't even have a Coke guy anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that on, the, on the weekends, though, I do a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hang out at the pool. Well, your oh, kids are yeah. older. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. You guys are disgusting. I don't like when Laser Wing's on. He brings out a dark side of you. You're dark side. But see, you don't know the old Brendan. No, I just hear the story. I mean, I love hearing the stories of all, like, it's so, di just so different from the way I grew up. Like, I'm not that much different now. No, I mean, just the way you grew up is so, it's so aggressive. Yeah. Like, I just yeah. don't, I never experienced, I mean, I'm not a guy, but I just, I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine all that Wait, violence. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. I'm Hold not up. a guy. I've told you that. And you, you like to think I'm tricking you, but I've told you that I'm not a guy. You're not a guy? No. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Because everybody Just forget. Thinks it I have seems a partner, like you forget. Everybody, partner. you always seem to forget. So, whatever. See, I didn't know that either. What, that I'm not like a guy? You, you, your name should be A Train with a cock. Wait, but wait, do you have a cock? No, I don't. Oh. It should be A Train without a cock. Oh, bad okay. word. That's a better. Bad that word. might have been the worst word I've said. C O C K. C O C K is worse than D I C K for sure. Listen, this is a laser sound effect for laser wang. How about this? How about this? What? Fuck you, bitches. <laughs> shoot you. Brendan, Check you this out. To shoot people. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I remember the time you told me the story of when you guys were at that bar and. I don't think we should oh, talk about that. I know I won't. I won't. Um, but it was a, cr it's a crazy story. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. I people. You guys are just. It's a whole different. <laughs> there are other stories where you shot at people. Wait, what? <laughs> there were always stories about me shooting at people. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, there was a period of time where I did that every weekend. Yeah. You shot a person? No, you never hit anyone. I would shoot at them, like just. You know, like to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bitches. <laughs> Let's get another fan. We'll call another fan of Laser Wang and hit them. Uh, we'll get something for uh, Laser Wang. Wait, what are some new raps? Uh, well, whatever. You can just make the noises too. Or just, yeah, talk to them. I don't know. Supposed to be calling? a sneaker store. It's open. Oh, appointment. Oh man. Please leave your message for eight we'll leave one. A message. Should we leave six, a message? Five. Oh, hey. Uh, sorry. Oh, we got the machine, Hellman. Oh yeah. Hellman. What? It's leave a message. Oh, hey, uh, Hellman here. Um, I I represent Laser Wang, the rapper. Um, we're looking for the UFC shoes with the RBG. We need to make an appointment. Laser Wang, are you on the line? Yeah, I'm on the line. Do they so, have my shoes? Laser Wang, we got the message. It's a voicemail. So we're going to leave a message about getting, because you have to make an appointment at this place. So this is the top. We got to get my shoes. Yeah. So we're going to come in for a fitting this today, if possible. Um, I'm sure you're familiar uh, with uh, Laser Wang. He's a R and B hip hop artist. Sensation. And he's playing skip, at the skip, Staples skip, Center. Skip. That's me. So we're gonna be. We need these UFC style shoes, Ruth uh, R B G, or any R B G shoe. And R B G, as in Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the late great Supreme. Yeah, and Justice. Hellman. Hellman's gonna take down your information, I guess. Yeah. So if you got, if you could just shoot me your information, I'll take it down. Hellman at uh, Hellman Agency. Oh, Hellman, Hellman, H-E-L-L-M-A-N at 
HelmanAgency.org.biz. What's wrong with your voice now? Oh, God. Is this because is this because of your bush? Well, I mean, yeah, the front my bush is so big I have to wear my underwear backwards if that's what you're asking. Laser Wang, did you know that? Hellman got a bush. Hellman's bush. Hellman's bush is so big that she has to wear her underwear backwards. So, so the butt part, part covers the front part and then the front part goes up my ass. Did I ever tell you that? Do you guys know that? Did, Did you know that, Laser Wang? No, I didn't. That's I never. A serious Bush. Well, that's yeah, and she so she gets like regular style granny panties. Is that what they're called? Yeah, like extra large. Yeah, so that's kind of saggy in the back. Yeah. Saggy in the back, but then her bush fills it up, mm-hmm. and then it pushes it so tight that the front part goes up her ass. That's almost like an Asian bush. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that. What, what, what does that have to do with anything? Yes, some Asian people have really big bushes. How do you know that? <laughs> well, How do you... that there's a lead into a good story. Okay. Okay, what's the story? I was working at the athletic center at Drexel University, and they have a gym that employees can use, and the whole fitness center and everything. And they, we had to walk through the locker room to get where we were working. And there were people in there just naked all the time. I guess most gyms have people that stay naked all the time in the locker room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that. So there were these Asian guys. No, there was one guy in particular that would take a shower and then he would use, they had elevated hand dryers that you could use to dry your head or your body or whatever. And he, I would walk in and the first thing I would see every day was him completely naked with a giant bush. I mean, I mean, it went almost to his knees. It was a huge bush. And a little tiny mushroom cap poking out the front. And he was drying his bush and his head and everything in the hair dryer. Oh. And I, there's, there was no way to avoid it. I had to walk past him every day. That's so gross. Well, and let's all just put a disclaimer out there that this is not indicative of, uh, this is not part of Asian hate or anything. Laser no, Wang no, I, definitely is, not. Laser Wang is just I, retelling I, a story, just but all Asians. The fact that he was Asian, right? His bush. You, you're saying his bush was so big, just in that it was so overgrown that it was growing into his leg hair. Like, is that what you mean? Or it, it was like going it, out? It was bu- like busting out so thick <laughs> that it, it like went down his legs slightly. <laughs> like it wasn't just right in his crotch; it went it expanded to all directions. <laughs> It was and an amazing bush and the length like it was it was thick and because i don't think i think my bush just reaches maximum there's a, you're not a hairy guy i'm not a hairy guy that's the problem mm. and asians have very thick beautiful thick dark black hair so i'm like but i don't think they have imagine... hairy bodies and you know what let's just get off no, this whole don't. topic because i don't want we don't need yeah, to have three understand. people talking about how hairy asians are I was just being complimentary of them. What I mean is that maybe like the maintenance of it is not worth it because it probably grows back. So, you know what I mean? No, you have so aggressively. I don't know. You have to shave. You ha- everyone ha- needs to shave. Do you shave? Men, women, everyone. You shave all your pubes off? Not completely, but I mean mostly. Hmm. Mostly. He just does a like like a landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I do a triangle. That's funny. You should do that. What would your wife do? Now your wife doesn't. Does your wife think you're funny at all, or no? No, she hates me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> seems to be the trend. That's just kind of how it goes With at wives. a certain point. Yeah. It really, all those old guys that told us not never to get married, we really had it figured out. We should have listened mm-hmm. to those guys. Having kids and she getting punch, married. She, she punches me in my balls every chance she gets. She's. Uh, do you ever look at I that like porn? Her. Cause you you um you you look at it. You find a lot of porn. Wait, have you ever seen Church of Fudge? No. What is that? Oh, I thought so, maybe that's no. see, something. See, you're even you'd more see. depraved than Laser Wife. It's not that and bad. Actually, if anybody wants to email, can I give your email address out? Sure. Laserwang at hotmail.com, L A S E R W A N G at hotmail.com. But be warned, if you email him, he's going to bombard you with um, 
Sometimes Brendan will be looking at his phone and laughing, kind of going, oh, and I go, what is that? He's like, oh, Laser Wang sent it to me. I go, all right, I don't want to see it. World record. For 45 more minutes of this episode, visit patreon.com slash world record podcast. World record. Patreon.com slash world record podcast. World record. Send fan mail to P.O. Box 27794, Los Angeles, California 90027.